In today's video, you will learn how to create and sell online courses using Tutor LMS and Profile Press. To begin, you'll need to go ahead and install the Tutor LMS plugin. So hover over plugins and click on Add New. In the search box, type in Tutor LMS and install and activate the first item. Once the installation is complete, you can click on its menu item on the left. Once it opens, we'll add a new course. And here you'll just need to enter a title, a description and continue filling out the information for the course. So I'll just go ahead and get some information I've already saved in my notes. So this is the description and next I'll be adding the excerpt. At the bottom, we'll need to configure the course settings. So change the maximum number of students, set the difficulty level. You can also choose to make the course public with no enrollment required. And there is also an option to create a Q&A section for your course. Let's move on to the course builder. We'll start by adding a new topic. Now we'll need to name the topic. I'll go back to my notes to get that information. That's good, so we can add the topic. Now I'll add a new lesson and I'll fill out the information for it as well. Once that's done, I'll click on update lesson. We can repeat the same process for an additional lesson. After adding the lesson information, you can add the additional data. For example, what will I learn from this course? I'll just paste it in this field. There is also target audience and total course duration. This is the estimated time that it would take to complete the course. If you want, you can continue filling out the rest of the fields, but they are not necessary since this is just a quick example. But one thing you can also do is add a featured image to your lessons. So I'll click on upload image and I'll just choose one from my media library. Let's do this for the other lesson as well. All right, so now what we need to do is set a featured image for the entire course. We'll just choose this one and click on set featured image. All right, that's fine. Now we can move up and click on preview to see what our course looks like. For something quick and simple, I think it looks good. So we can close it and go back to click on publish. So once your course is published, you can go to profile press on the left, click on add-ons. And now what you need to do is scroll down to find the tutor LMS add-on for profile press. Just enable it. And once it's enabled, go to settings. Now on here, you just want to ensure that pages are set up and there is a link in the description to a video that shows how to set this up. A new user will see a button to set up pages with one click. All right. So once you have set up your pages, you can then move on to set up payments. You'll need to configure your currency and currency position and so on. There's also a link in the description where you can learn about payments in detail. Let's go to payment methods. And here we can see a number of different methods. We have start payments. There is also Stripe, PayPal, Molly and Razor Pay. Stripe and PayPal are by far the most popular payment methods. Right now, by default, we are using Stripe. We also have an in-depth tutorial on how to set up Stripe in the description. Now, since this is just a test under payment methods, we also want to ensure that test mode is active. Also, our default method is Stripe, but in your case, it could be PayPal or any other method that you are comfortable with. Now, the next step is to create a new membership plan. So under membership plans, we'll click on add new plan at the top and we'll name it courses. And for the purchase note, we'll go to a documentation page and copy a code snippet, which I will include in the description as well. We'll just copy this and go back and paste it in this field. Okay, now we just need to replace the URL here with the one for our course. So I'm just going to go to Tutor LMS and open courses in a new tab. Now we'll click on the course. We'll copy the link and we'll go back and replace the one in the code snippet. So let's just highlight this and paste the one that we just copied. We'll leave this next setting as default, create user rule for this membership plan. If you want to, you can always change it. Let's set the price to $9.99. We'll keep the billing frequency as monthly and the subscription length can stay the same. We don't need a sign up fee or a free trial. For downloads and integrations, we just want to go to Tutor LMS and we need to select our course. All right, now let's go ahead and save our membership plan. And we can copy this checkout URL if you want to create a button or paste the link on a page somewhere. For example, we can go to the top, click on new post, and we can go ahead and add a button. I'll just call this test. Let's add a button. Now let's name it enroll. 
and we'll just attach the same checkout link to this button. Now let's publish and let's view our post. If we click on the button, it should take us to the checkout page. It does nothing, so that means we may not have set this link correctly. So we'll go back to the post, edit post, and we'll attach the link to the button. We need to click on link after adding it. Once that's done, we can click on update. Now we'll view our post again, and this time our button should be working correctly. So this is the checkout page that a logged in user will see. We can open it in an incognito window to view it as a logged out user. So once we are on the checkout page, I'll just go ahead and fill out this form. I'll just use some random information and a test card on Stripe. And once I'm done, I'll click on subscribe. So here's our order confirmation. Now we have our purchase note where we can click on start this course. All right, so here we can see our course with the enroll now button. Now, if you want to monetize your course, you need to change a few settings in Tutor LMS. So we'll go back to the dashboard. Once we're there, we'll hover over Tutor LMS on the left and we'll click on settings. We'll go to the monetization tab and next to select e-commerce engines, we'll choose profile press. Let's save our changes. Now, if we go back to our incognito window and refresh, we now have our subscribe button with the price of the course, and that's $9.99. If we click on subscribe, that will take us to a checkout page where we can make the purchase. All right, so I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.